and welcome to part 2 of 403 Forbidden's video tutorial on AutoIT scripting. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over variables. What a variable is, is it is a certain amount of text that starts with a dollar sign that is sort of like a placeholder for a separate amount of data. Here is an example. In this script, what we're having happen is we set dollar sign $var, which we will call variable, which is a variable, to hold the data hello. Then we pop up a message box with the flag being zero, the title being Haya, and the text being whatever dollar sign $var equals. And since we set it up here, dollar sign $var equals hello. So therefore, the message box, the title should say Haya, and the text should say hello. Let's give it a try. And it does just that. A message box comes up with the title being Haya, which we specified here, the text being hello, which we specified here, and obviously, since the flag is zero, there's an OK button. It says hello because we tell the message box to have the text be whatever dollar sign var equals. And up here, we said dollar sign var equals hello. If we go up here and change it to hello Mr. Billy, and then we run the script, it will do the same thing. The text will be hello Mr. Billy, which we specified up at the top. You can also use this for the title and the flag, like so. What is happening here is we set variable 1 to be 0, variable 2 to be hello, and variable 3 to be hello Mr. Billy. Then in the message box, we have the flag be whatever dollar sign var 1 equals, which is 0, then the title being whatever variable 2 equals, which is hello, and whatever in the text, whatever variable 3 equals, which is hello Mr. Billy. When we run it, it'll do the same thing. An OK button, because the flag is whatever dollar sign variable 1 equals, which is 0, the text being hello, which we specified in variable 2, and the text being hello Mr. Billy, which we specified using variable 3. This concludes part 2 of 403 Forbidden's AutoIT video tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over arrays, a, a way of having a variable contain multiple amounts of data. I'll see you in tutorial number three.